to the Phantoms Fanc YouTube channel. I am back with another review, and this review is of Avatar, released in 2009, starring Zoe Zeldana, Sam Worthington, Sigourney Weaver, Michelle Rodriguez, Laz Alonso, Joel David Moore, Giovanni Ribson, and Stephen Lang, and it was directed by James Cameron. The story of Avatar follows Jake Sellier, a marine who is paralyzed, but he is sent off to the beautiful planet of Pandora because his brother was supposed to go for the Avatar program, a program where transfer the consciousness of their mind into a fake version of the Navi, the natives of the planet Pandora. They do this in order to connect with the natives to try to get them out of certain areas so then the evil bad company can then bulldoze and mine for unobtainium. It turns out that Jake Sully, starting to learn the ways of the Navi, feel more connected to them than his own species, and then he tries to fight against the evil corporate people. So obviously, Avatar is one of the biggest movies of all time. At one point, it stood the it stood as the world's highest grossing movie at one point. And obviously, I'm reviewing this because the second movie, Way of the Water, has came out at this point. I am recording this the day of that I'm going to be seeing Avatar 2. I did not see Avatar in the theater, at least from what I remember. But I do remember watching it younger and remember being just blown away by its visual spectrum and 13 years later the effects still hold up insanely well because obviously this brought back the huge trend of 3d movies such as how to train your dragon and then hugo which followed after this and to be honest the effects and the cinematography and the design of pandora all hold up in my opinion. I love the look of Pandora and the effects really do hold up. The Na'vi look really good. Even if I know it's CG, I still think it looks really fucking good still. Even if I personally know it's CG and I can tell it is, they're so expressive and the environment is just so creative in my opinion that I'm immediately drawn into knowing more about this world, and that's honestly my favorite part of Avatar is when you learn about the Na'vi with how they tame different animals, how they link up to the planet, because the planet is almost like a nervous system brain, and I, I'm real, I was really interested in that aspect of the movie. I wanted more of that, and I didn't get that from this movie. I will say... This movie is fine. I don't think it's awful, but it's just the plot is so generic and the writing is also very generic. There are some aspects of this film that I can see being a very great movie, but due to its writing, it really isn't anything special. It's a Dances with Wolves clone, a Pocahontas clone, a... Uh, Fern Gully clone, we're, we're telling a story about environments and natives of the evil bad corporate with two villains who are cartoonishly evil, but they're fucking entertaining no matter what. Stephen Lang plays one of my favorite villains as the colonel because he's just so fucking over the top in this movie. Same thing with Giovanni Ribsi, who also is so over the top as the cartoonishly bad evil businessman, and then you have Stephen Lang like, these fucking savages, if I don't get them, they'll be doing that. And I just get so entertained by this. By those characters, just because of how poorly they are written. But it's still entertaining as hell to me. But, as I was saying, I feel like they could have had a really good story here. Because, okay, so... First of all, Sam Worthington's character, Jake Sully, he lost his brother, so then he goes as a Marine instead of a scientist because his biology matches his brother's biology, so he's able to link into his avatar easier because of that reason. Now, I don't think Sam Worthington is bad in this. I think, ironically, whenever he is human or doing the narration, which is so fucking piss poor and obvious what he is saying, it... You really didn't need the narration, but when he is doing those scenes, I don't feel like he's trying. But when he is in the Navi form of him, the CGI version, 
I actually think his acting is a lot better. Maybe because the... Maybe because the the Na'vi form of him, surprisingly, is more expressive than himself, I think it works out a lot better. And then Zoe Zaldana, I think, as Natiri, even though her character is kind of the standard native who falls in love with a outsider-type situation, she also brings a lot of goodness to the performance and the character design as well. And I think those two do have good chemistry, but I think that the writing really doesn't show it and the plot synopsis because instead of showing us their connection growing, you just get montages and then Jake Sully narrating over this. I feel like they really needed to focus more on developing the characters with the Na'vi and even developing more into Jake Sully because they say that he's this special one even though you he's just a bland marine even though Sigourney Weaver's character spent years with the Navi trying to help them and she's not the one who brings an end to this war and stuff like that I feel like that is just so contradicting when I could see a reason being why he is special because he himself lost the ability to use his legs but in this form, he can move. And I could see, like, if they maybe developed that aspect, I could see it being, like, he doesn't feel like himself in his own body anymore. So if he's in this one, he feels more connective or something like that. Something that would make this a lot more interesting. And all the creature designs of Pandora I also love. But the scenes of them just in the, the the compound with the humans, I'm not all that interested in. And I feel like Sigourney Weaver, her acting is also very good. For the her her acting is at least entertaining, but she also the writing doesn't do her any favor, especially when she's dying. The fucking writing is awful for her, and especially some of the side characters, such as Michelle Rodriguez's pilot character. You really don't learn that much about her, and then when she's standing up at the end, and then when she dies, I really don't feel bad for her. I feel like... I've been stuck thinking about this movie because I see all the potential, and I see many ways that this movie could work a lot better. In my opinion, I feel like this should have been two separate movies. You should have had the first part be him learning with the Na'vi and stuff like that, him connecting with them, dive more into all these characters, and then the second part is him traveling, connecting with the other Na'vi to convince them to come with him to fight against them after their home is destroyed. I feel like if you did that and you developed the characters more, if you went in with the Na'vi more, if you developed all these side characters more, we learned more about the Na'vi and the land of Pandora, because those are the most interesting parts to me, I feel like you've had a lot better of a story, and I feel like it would have worked a lot better, almost like a Dune scenario. I feel like that would have worked so much better. But yeah... The thing is, the movie is never boring, I will say. The movie relatively keeps you engaged, mainly through the cinematography, the action scenes, and the effects. And the actors do have enough charm to keep you engaged throughout, in my opinion. The only part that I hate in this movie is the whole liar reveal thing, because I feel like they really didn't need to do that, or at least do it in a more creative way in this. I feel like this movie could have been really good, but due to the writing, I really don't feel like it turns out to just be kind of average and decent. In my opinion, I the reason why I've been stuck on this movie and my opinion on this is because I see the potential in this movie, but it just doesn't go there. It doesn't reach those limits. So, to whether I recommend Avatar, it is a visual spectral, a visual, pl visually pleasanting movie. And it does keep you engaged throughout. There's nothing awfully horrible about its morals or anything. The actors, in my opinion, keep you engaged throughout. And same thing with the effects, the cinematography, and the action scenes. But due to its messed up, its... It's shit writing, it's shit story that's just copy and pasted from so many other movies. It really doesn't exceed that much. But surprisingly, 
I feel like the movie keeps you engaged and entertaining throughout. I don't know if it's that due to the re to the direction or the effects, but for for my opinion, I was never bored while watching it. It's interesting. But yeah, to whether I, I'd say recommend it because I would give it a light recommendation, even though it is almost three hours long. I don't think it's ever boring. That's the thing. Through the most part, Pandora is engaging and interesting enough, even though I wanted more of Pandora. I feel like, due to those elements, it does keep you engaged and entertained throughout most of the movie. But yeah, that. But anyways, what did you guys think of Avatar? I know a bunch of people have been ragging on this movie recently, but I personally think it's not as bad as everybody thinks. But... As I said, what do you guys think? Leave that into the comment section down below. If you did enjoy, please make sure to like, subscribe. If you have any other movies you guys want me to review, leave those in the comment sections as well. Please make sure to tune in for the next review of Way of the Water. Hopefully they do a better job at story in this movie. Hopefully we dive more into Pandora. Literally, water, dive, <laughs> fucking smart me. But, uh... Yeah, and uh, make sure to share the channel. I always like to see the growth of it. Uh, but I will see you all next time.